Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you guys here with me today. So yesterday I showed you my little accordion flip book um, made out of cardboard. And today I'm gonna show you how I did it more in depth. It's actually very easy, um, but I'm a visual learner myself, so I think it would be fun to be able to just show you guys. And a lot of you seemed interested. So I added a few more details to this book, just a little bit here and there. I'm not totally done with it yet, but I might be, I'm not sure. Yeah, so this turned out really good. I really liked how it turned out. I really like the six panels. Um, I think that's like the perfect amount. You know, it's not too big, it's not too small. It was just enough to, you know, I don't know. Anyways, okay. So this one is six panels. And what I mean by six panels is I had six pieces of cardboard. So that's why I'm calling these panels. Um, and today's that I'm going to show you, I only have four panels. And that's only because the box that I was cutting up. Um, oh, wait. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. The box I was cutting up, I could only get four panels that were four by seven. Obviously I could have changed my dimensions and then had more pieces, but I wanted to show you the exact same dimensions that I used in this one, which were four wide, seven tall. So four inches by uh, seven inches. And so you can add as many panels as you want or, um, you know, only put a couple panels. That's fine, you know, either or. Okay, first things first, we're gonna take two panels Grab some um, masking tape like you would get from any hardware store and you'll put just like a quarter of an inch on one side. Doesn't have to be perfect because you're not gonna see this anyways. And then I just kind of flip it over, make sure they're even, hold them together. And then I just kind of roll the cardboard onto the piece. So now it's connected on both sides and then I will open it up and kind of you got to kind of pull it so see this cardboard is thicker than the one I used before so the gap in between will be bigger you need to keep that gap so then what I do is add a piece on this side enough to cover both pieces. And then we'll fold this back over again. Kind of push it down a little bit. Okay, so now you want to kind of pull it apart a little bit so you still have that gap in there. Anyways, then I just take my bone folder and I just kind of really want to make sure that those two tapes touch. And I just kind of go in there and kind of work it together. And then obviously I'm gonna cut the, the ends of these off because we don't need all this excess. There we go. All right, so now we have our first hinge. And now these, the tapes are connected inside. So they're stuck together. And if you wanted to add another piece on either side of here for extra stability, you totally could. I didn't, but, um, and I haven't had any problems, but you totally could if you wanted to. Okay, so, especially like on this side. You know what, maybe I will just on this side, just, just for good measure, just for some good measure. And now what's really cool about these is that you can, you know, you don't have to use these for paper collage. You could paint on this, um, stamp on it. You could do all kinds of things, add pictures, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so I just like to give this a nice little thing. Okay, so now we have panel number one. Okay, so now we're gonna continue on with panel number two. So I'll do the same thing where I just kind of line them up. 
I didn't really think that this cardboard was that much thicker than my other one, but apparently it is. Okay, so add a little bit on there. Turn this around, make sure that they're even. Get it to go around. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so if that happens, let's go back. Make sure they're even. Yeah, I needed whiter tape for this. Make sure, um, make sure your cardboard is not too thick. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right, open it back up. another piece of tape on this side for good measure. Just add some right down the edge. Let's cut this off. Now we'll add our piece to this side. up let's chop off these edges all right we that side we got this side I think this wants to go this way, like that. All right, so we got one, two, three, four. Now we got to do the last one. And we will do it the same way. We're just going to add a little bit of tape. I think I'm going to be on the hunt for some extra wide masking tape. Okay, let's make sure that these are even Steven. And then I'll just roll that up and over. Oops. Okay, let's open this up. Let's cut off this excess because it just starts sticking to itself and it's driving me nuts. Ah! Got a little pile over there. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now we'll take this side. And like I said, I didn't have to do this on my first one because my cardboard wasn't as thick as this. Um, this one looks to be about double the thickness of my last one. Okay, so we got that. And we'll just add some tape over the other side. Okay. 
that off and we'll cut that off. All right. So there we have it. Got one, two, three, and back to the front. Ta-da! Four panels. So this would be a smaller one for me. I don't know what I'll do with this one, but uh, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Okay, so on mine, because it's corrugated cardboard like this, you could leave it if you wanted to. Um, but I went through and I just kind of... Um, added a border of masking tape around the corrugated edges. Uh, I don't know, I mean, I didn't have to, I could have just done that with paper, but it just kind of gave me a clean surface to work on and I just kind of liked the look of, you know, cleaning up all the edges first, you know, getting that nice smoothness, although here I am wrinkling it. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I really liked the way it felt having the edges have the masking tape on them. Oops, wait, how did this go? There we go. And if it feels weird when you first fold it, like I folded it this way first and see it feels a little tight and it won't really close over here. So then if I fold it the other way, then it folds nice and smooth and flat. So yeah, there we go. That's the base of the book. You basically, you know, put your two sides together, add your tape, and then when you open it up, gently pull and you'll have this gap. And this is the um, the allowance for your book to close and open. So these essentially are your little spines right here. And like I said, for mine, I went through and um, afterwards, like on this one, after I had already collaged, I went through and added gold ink on the insides. Um, I think this time around, I will ink the spines first and then start adding my paper because then I don't have to go back through after I've already done that and, uh, you know, have to work around the papers that I had worked on before. So, yeah, that's really all all I did. I think maybe I'll just ink these really quick while I have you on here so I can show you what I use. So I used the Dr. Martin's Iridescent Copper Plate Gold. I like to have my ink on a little palette. Okay, and then my brush. Okay, so I just touched the thing in there and then I just Put it down the spine and that way when I add my papers I don't have to do this later and I'll just kind of go in on the edges a little bit here you could paint the spine you could add decorative washi tape over the masking tape um, what else could you do you could stamp it I mean there's all kinds of things you could do I just really like the gold because I feel like it's subtle, uh, but it's like super pretty too. You know what I'm saying? All right. It dries so fast too. Okay, so there's that one. I don't know what I'm gonna decorate this one for. I think because it's only four panels, I might just have it say fall and then put it on my, my like a, as a decorative piece in my house. Although my last name is only four letters too, so I could do something like that. I don't know. These are just so fun to collage, like just adding the paper and stuff. Like I was watching my TV show and just collaging the backgrounds one day and it was just so relaxing and fun. And I love recycled crafts. Like I'm using cardboard from my son got a package yesterday in the mail and I'm using the cardboard from that to do this four panel one. But it's so fun. I really liked the six panels. I felt like that was a good amount of panels, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna be doing one for all the holidays all the things. Get that in there. 
Plus the thickness of the cardboard just feels cool. I don't know. I like it. I was thinking the other day of all the things I've used to make glue books. <laughs> just so many things. I just like to see like all the time, like, can I make this into a glue book? It's like the best part. Okay. And of course you can, you know, if you're into technical terms, you could make this into a journal or, you know, you can add pockets and, you know, go to town on it. I just, you know, obviously I like to glue book, so I turned mine into a glue book, but you can do whatever you want with it. Okay. All right, so I got those sides painted. I cannot wait to start collaging on this. All right, guys, I'm gonna go let this dry and then glue on the other side or paint on the other side. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this tutorial helped you out. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to ask down in the comments down below and I will be happy to help you out. I hope you guys all have a fabulous Tuesday. I hope you had fun hanging out with me. I had fun hanging out with you. And until next time, bye.